Your Highness your late I apologize I had to evade the guards, did you not bring the cat with you she's right here you hit her even though no one else is here, oh this is because she's really shy there's no way he'll tell about what happened last night right, fine I won't tell them I'm sorry I'm late everyone's here at last let's get going, it won't be an easy trip we're here already how can the security at the royal? palace be so vulnerable the thing is the security spells had quite a few loopholes I'll have to fix this when I become the emperor I guess it's a good thing we got in anyhow let's begin the search find any information you can about cats although the security's pretty loose they've done a great job hiding the documents do you sense anything around here at all no book feels particularly magical we'll just have to do our due diligence there are so many books here wouldn't it take too long to sift through every book here baby, did you find something at this point anything would help her prayer for her but the great empire this book is wait I sense a strange energy coming from that book the content doesn't appear all that special, is this a prophecy one who stole precious lives past eight darknesses shall greet the ninth night your highness this is the book I was looking for it's the same prophecy as the one I've heard my mother told me that I am the eighth child if this prophecy is what I think it is the ninth child refers to my baby Rayonet I'm the ninth child in the prophecy wait let me get this straight let's double check the prophecy maybe there's more information in here my child do you hear my voice a voice where am I it felt like I was sucked into the book earlier who are you silly and this is a space inside the book child of the ninth night I instilled my power within this book so I could tell you a story in the future the future did they send this to me from the past we've been waiting for you the one destined to save the empire save the empire who me but they said that cats will destroy the empire, on top of that I have a reversed curse your unique constitution is evidence you are the child, of the night I ask you to find the original copy of the prophecy. I've damaged weight who are you and where is the original copy you are protected by divine blessings, you will be able to set things right I hope that you find the original text and break free from the shackles of sin and suffering oh and if you meet my descendant will you help them see the future farewell then I wish you the best of luck Rayonette, it's good to see you're okay I was worried because you were out for a long time your highness you both passed out at the same time could it mean I'll explain everything now that Rayonette's regained her consciousness he bound his power in a book that's something only high priests can do if we put everything together based on what you've told us a name does ring a bell and who might that be the original scroll of the prophecy it was damaged one week after its creation and there was a priest that died protecting the scroll Fabian Nellers it must be him Fabian Nellers the one who left me his last message then it's decided what's decided your highness we will find Fabian Nellers descendant wherever he is whoever he is we will find him no matter what a few days had passed since they began their search, thanks to Valon, they found Fabian Nilla's descendant soon enough they were almost at the meetup spot when something seemed to be bothering Rayonette. What's wrong, Rayonette? Someone asked come on, Rayonette it's dangerous for you outside, as you are a cat it's pertinent that you dress up as a pet rabbit don't you think? It's unfair that the humiliation is mine, and mine only Rayonette replied frustrated she's so funny, another person commented, trying to lighten the mood didn't you say he's 16 years old, are you sure he's here, it reeks of booze, one of them questioned, wrinkling their nose at the smell, that is the case, your highness, if you could step in, a loud voice interrupted their conversation give me the money get lost, you bib you promised me 10 kellings I did what you told me to do now pay me, who do you think you are, kid, yelling at me like that. A gruff voice responded. Is that him? Someone asked. Yes, your highness, there's only one descendant alive, and that's him, Sanya Nellas. The argument continued with Sanya shouting, greedy little trying to take others money you promised you would pay me. Shut your mouth, I'll give you 100 kellings if 10 kellings gives you the right to punch someone. For 100 kellings I should be able to break your neck what do you think? If you hurt anyone again, a voice warned. Then I'll have you search for your own head rolling on the ground slow down, Sanya Nellas what? Who's Sanya Nellas? Call me Jack, for Christ's sake Jack. Is that a name you gave yourself? Sure is what's it to you? Your Highness, his manners are self-taught I'm aware, 
came the calm reply so that boy is the descendant of Fabian Nellers so, what is it, tell me what you want what, you helped me out and even bought me food I never make deals without giving something in return, so that is why I will help you if you tell me what it is that you want do you know about the child whose day and night are reversed, a child whose day and night are reversed, reversed day and night, could you mean a kid who roams around at night instead of sleeping? Do you possess any heirlooms? Nope. Any special stories your parents told you? Nope. There are none. Your Highness, this guy knows nothing. That seems to be the case that's enough we shall get going hurried, erase Sanya Nella's memories, Valon, search for another Nella's descendant I'll make sure you get paid enough to live comfortably, so don't worry after all, your family has sacrificed for the Empire, even producing a great priest at one point. Wait I don't want that kind of money I said I only do fair trades what gives you the right to erase my memories, who even are you? Is it safe to say if he hasn't inherited anything, there are no clues either? Someone asked, ignoring Sanyu's outburst what have I got to do with my family, anyway? That family name has been long gone Sanyu shouted, anger and confusion mixing in his voice. Fabian Nillers predicted Sanyu's existence something that only the Nella's descendants can have, perhaps, it could be the family itself, could it be? One of them speculated, their mind racing with possibilities. What's that? A rabbit, the cat, the Nella's bloodline itself what are you? Sanya started to say, but then something strange happened you're human now, the voice trailed off, leaving Sanya and everyone else stunned at the revelation grasp the unbelievable the cat human transformation don't get too close to him someone warned no way the cat turned into a human yikes he's way too close how does this make any sense why is everyone so calm another person exclaimed in disbelief how did you figure it out there's only one thing that can't break or get stolen no matter how much time goes by and that's people priest Nellas placed the answer in his distant offspring a wise voice explained so, you became human because of me? If that's the case, then you should compensate me handsomely someone demanded. You shut your mouth another retorted. Why are Sanyu and Harad in the room? Someone inquired. I locked them in there because they were being too loud, came the straightforward response anyway. Why did you bite the cheek, of all places? Oh, that that's all I saw at the time your grace. Why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Well, when I'm human. I should abide by the class rules you are the crown prince and I am you mean the rules of social classes. Suddenly, a scream pierced the air someone screaming. That it was loud something's gone wrong. Hold on, Rayonette, someone urged. Wait put me down. Hold still did you forget that you're not wearing shoes? Your highness please save me. Why are you fussing over just one mouse? I'd rather roll around in a pig's tie than be in the same space as that despicable man. You're terrified of a little mouse, and you're calling me despicable? Forget a pig's tie rot in a wrath hole instead. The mice started moving all at once. Did Sanya make them do that? This is a total mouse I mean, a total mess we lost a lot of time driving the mice out. Well, that guy started it first. If my guess is correct let's bring Sanua with us. Rayonette? Sanua, you have a special ability. I said my name is Jack by a special ability, are you referring to how Sanua controlled the mice? I said my name is Jack stop calling me by that weird name. Sanua, do you know your family lineage? They produced outstanding priests for generations and even sacrificed their lives to save the empire you are born from that Nella's family. So what? I didn't do any of that perhaps you have even greater power than that. Aren't you curious about your abilities? Well you're the only one that can help me I can help you. Yes and you may be able to help other people too if I turn out to be useless, you can't take your words back then. Okay of course not thank you so much, Sanyu really, after going through the trouble of giving myself a new name what's this? An earthquake, my vision just wobbled. Was Sanya's face this big? Wait, did I? In the grand palace of Ilaria, where whispers of magic and mystery lingered in every corridor, an unexpected event unfolded. She's a cat. Mew, a small voice chimed, breaking the silence. Yes, she is, came the reply. 
tinged with curiosity. Why did she delume a K.I. again? About that a thoughtful pause followed. This is just speculation, but it seems like it could be caused by R. In that case, we'll have to wait for him to recover to verify. The other voice interjected with authority. Yes, your highness. There's not much we can do at this very moment. I think it's best that Sanua stays at the county with you. Let me know when his powers are restored. For now, we'll return to the palace. As the royal entourage made its way back, a sense of anticipation filled the air. His highness had returned, and everyone wondered if he had resolved Raynette's curse. Excuse me, Iena Scott? H. Huh? Iena turned surprised. They've summoned you to the reception room. Summoned me. Who did? It's Countess Geisler. The Countess wants to see you. I'm back on the grind as soon as I'm back, Iena muttered, feeling the weight of the unexpected summons. Okay, I'll be back soon. You get some rest. Arriving at the reception room, Iena was greeted by the regal presence of the Countess. Your Highness, this is Iena. Come in. Apologies for the sudden intrusion. Your Highness, I've got to tell you something. Meanwhile, in the shadows of the palace, a figure fumed. Dang it, that woman finally got a hold of Iena. She tried to make her work as her spy. It's bad enough that I can't trust anyone in this palace. This place is exhausting. I suppose there's one person I can trust. Rayonette, he called softly. Shall we go for a walk together? Under the moonlit sky, they strolled through the palace gardens. What do you think? Do you like it? he asked, gesturing to the spruce trees emitting a bluish silver light and the lake shimmering under the moonlight. This landscape, cold yet gentle reminds me of Cillian, he murmured, lost in thought by the way, Rayonette I've got something for you. Rayonette's eyes widened as he handed her a letter. A letter? Dot. It's a letter from Iena. Your mother Iena left to stay at the county she didn't have the chance to say goodbye. So she asked me to give this letter to you she was so worried about you the whole time on the way there. Cillian, standing beside them, looked distant and sad could he be thinking about the letter from his own mother? Rayonette wondered. You have a knack for figuring out a way to comfort me, Cillian admitted perhaps the reason why I stopped having nightmares is because you have some sort of special powers you don't think so? Suddenly gaining such abilities seems unlikely, Rayonette replied trying to make sense of it all. Look over here, Cillian Beck and I want you to see it with your own eyes the scars he used to have on his body are now gone. Gosh, don't stare too hard, Cillian laughed nervously anyway, I noticed this phenomenon ever since I started sleeping alongside you well, to be exact it's ever since we've spent time together. No way. Well, this is just my speculation. Cillian added quickly it may as well just be a coincidence but even if it's not for that, you're still very special to me. Rayonette felt a warmth in her heart why is it so comforting to hear you say that even when I'm just an ordinary being I am still special to you? The night wore on, and under the gentle glow of the moonlight, a bond strengthened, a curse weakened, and the promise of hope lingered in the air of Ilaria. A few days had passed since they began their search. Thanks to Valon. They found Fabian Nilla's descendant soon enough they were almost at the meet-up spot when something seemed to be bothering Rayonette. What's wrong, Rayonette? Someone asked come on, Rayonette it's dangerous for you outside, as you are a cat it's pertinent that you dress up as a pet rabbit don't you think? It's unfair that the humiliation is mine, and mine only Rayonette replied, frustrated she's so funny, another person commented. Trying to lighten the mood didn't you say he's 16 years old? Are you sure he's here? It reeks of booze, one of them questioned, wrinkling their nose at the smell. That is the case, your highness, if you could step in. A loud voice interrupted their conversation give me the money get lost. You bib you promised me 10 kellings I did what you told me to do now pay me. Who do you think you are, kid, yelling at me like that? A gruff voice responded. Is that him? Someone asked. Yes, your highness, there's only one descendant alive, and that's him, Sanya Nellas. The argument continued with Sanya shouting, greedy little trying to take others money you promised you would pay me. Shut your mouth, I'll give you 100 kellings if 10 kellings gives you the right to punch someone, for 100 kellings I should be able to break your neck what do you think? If you hurt anyone again, 
a voice warned. Then I'll have you search for your own head rolling on the ground slow down, Sanuanella's what? Who's Sanuanella's? Call me Jack, for Christ's sake Jack. Is that a name you gave yourself? Sure is what's it to you? Your Highness, his manners are self-taught I'm aware, came the calm reply so that boy is the descendant of Fabian Nellas so, what is it? Tell me what you want what? You helped me out and even bought me food I never make deals without giving something in return. So that is why I will help you if you tell me what it is that you want do you know about the child whose day and night are reversed? A child whose day and night are reversed? Reverse day and night. Could you mean a kid who roams around at night instead of sleeping? Do you possess any heirlooms? Nope. Any special stories your parents told you? Nope. There are none. Your Highness, this guy knows nothing. That seems to be the case that's enough we shall get going hurried, erase Sanuanella's memories, Valon, search for another Nella's descendant I'll make sure you get paid enough to live comfortably, so don't worry after all. Your family has sacrificed for the Empire, even producing a great priest at one point. Wait I don't want that kind of money I said I only do fair trades what gives you the right to erase my memories? Who even are you? Is it safe to say if he hasn't inherited anything, there are no clues either? Someone asked, ignoring Sanua's outburst. What have I got to do with my family, anyway? That family name has been long gone Sanua shouted anger and confusion mixing in his voice. Fabian Nellas predicted Sanua's existence, something that only the Nellas descendants can have, perhaps, it could be the family itself, could it be? One of them speculated, their mind racing with possibilities. What's that? A rabbit, the cat, the Nellas bloodline itself what are you? Sanua started to say, but then something strange happened you're human now, the voice trailed off leaving Sanyu and everyone else stunned at the revelation, grasp the unbelievable the cat-human transformation. Don't get too close to him, someone warned. No way the cat turned into a human, yikes, he's way too close. How does this make any sense? Why is everyone so calm? Another person exclaimed in disbelief. How did you figure it out? There's only one thing that can't break or get stolen no matter how much time goes by and that's people priest Nellas placed the answer in his distant offspring, a wise voice explained. So, you became human because of me? If that's the case, then you should compensate me handsomely someone demanded. You shut your mouth another retorted. Why are Sanyu and Harad in the room? Someone inquired. I locked them in there because they were being too loud, came the straightforward response anyway. Why did you bite the cheek, of all places? Oh, that that's all I saw at the time your grace. Why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Well, when I'm human, I should abide by the class rules. You are the crown prince and I am you mean the rules of social classes. Suddenly, a scream pierced the air someone screaming. That was loud something's gone wrong. Hold on, Rayonette, someone urged. Wait put me down. Hold still did you forget that you're not wearing shoes? Your Highness please save me. Why are you fussing over just one mouse? I'd rather roll around in a pig's tie than be in the same space as that despicable man. You're terrified of a little mouse, and you're calling me despicable? Forget a pig's tie rot in a wrath hole instead. The mice started moving all at once. Did Sanua make them do that? This is a total mouse I mean. A total mess we lost a lot of time driving the mice out. Well, that guy started it first. If my guess is correct let's bring Sanua with us. Rayonette. Sanua, you have a special ability. I said my name is Jack by a special ability, are you referring to how Sanya controlled the mice? I said my name is Jack stop calling me by that weird name. Sanua. Do you know your family lineage? They produced outstanding priests for generations and even sacrificed their lives to save the empire you are born from that Nella's family. So what? I didn't do any of that perhaps you have even greater power than that. Aren't you curious about your abilities? Well you're the only one that can help me I can help you. Yes and you may be able to help other people too if I turn out to be useless. You can't take your words back then. Okay of course not thank you so much, Sanyu really, after going through the trouble of giving myself a new name what's this? An earthquake, my vision just wobbled. Was Sanya's face this big? Wait, did I? In the grand palace of Ilaria, 
where whispers of magic and mystery lingered in every corridor, an unexpected event unfolded. She's a cat. Mew, a small voice chimed, breaking the silence. Yes, she is, came the reply, tinged with curiosity. Why did she delume a K.I. again? About that a thoughtful pause followed. This is just speculation, but it seems like it could be caused by R. In that case, we'll have to wait for him to recover to verify. The other voice interjected with authority. Yes, your highness. There's not much we can do at this very moment. I think it's best that Sanya stays at the county with you. Let me know when his powers are restored. For now, we'll return to the palace. As the royal entourage made its way back, a sense of anticipation filled the air. His highness had returned and everyone wondered if he had resolved Raynette's curse. Excuse me, Iena Scott? H? Huh? Iena turned, surprised. They've summoned you to the reception room. Summoned me? Who did? It's Countess Geisler. The Countess wants to see you. I'm back on the grind as soon as I'm back, Iena muttered, feeling the weight of the unexpected summons. Okay, I'll be back soon. You get some rest. Arriving at the reception room, Iena was greeted by the regal presence of the Countess. Your Highness, this is Iena. Come in. Apologies for the sudden intrusion, Your Highness. I've got to tell you something. Meanwhile, in the shadows of the palace, a figure fumed. Dang it. That woman finally got a hold of Iena. She tried to make her work as her spy. It's bad enough that I can't trust anyone in this palace. This place is exhausting. I suppose there's one person I can trust. Rayonette, he called softly. Shall we go for a walk together? Under the moonlit sky, they strolled through the palace gardens. What do you think? Do you like it? He asked gesturing to the spruce trees emitting a bluish silver light and the lake shimmering under the moonlight. This landscape, cold yet gentle reminds me of Cillian, he murmured, lost in thought by the way, Rayonette I've got something for you. Rayonette's eyes widened as he handed her a letter. A letter? Dot. It's a letter from Iena. Your mother Iena left to stay at the county she didn't have the chance to say goodbye. So she asked me to give this letter to you she was so worried about you the whole time on the way there. Cillian, standing beside them, looked distant and sad could he be thinking about the letter from his own mother? Rayonette wondered. You have a knack for figuring out a way to comfort me, Cillian admitted perhaps the reason why I stopped having nightmares is because you have some sort of special powers you don't think so? Suddenly gaining such abilities seems unlikely, Rayonette replied trying to make sense of it all. Look over here, Cillian Beck and I want you to see it with your own eyes the scars he used to have on his body are now gone. Gosh, don't stare too hard, Cillian laughed nervously anyway, I noticed this phenomenon ever since I started sleeping alongside you well, to be exact it's ever since we've spent time together. No way. Well, this is just my speculation. Cillian added quickly it may as well just be a coincidence but even if it's not for that, you're still very special to me. Rayonette felt a warmth in her heart why is it so comforting to hear you say that even when I'm just an ordinary being I am still special to you? The night wore on, and under the gentle glow of the moonlight, a bond strengthened, a curse weakened, and the promise of hope lingered in the air of Ilaria. In the dark of night, it was an hour past midnight, when she arrived her presence filling the room with an aura of urgency and mystery, your highness, the attendant addressed her, you've made it, what do you need from me at this hour, Rayonette, her brow furrowed with concern, responded, well, there's a thing they said these cookies are from Countess Geisler, there's something weird in it after all, the attendant's eyes widened in recognition Countess Geisler, she put the dark magic potion in these cookies too, Rayonette nodded, do you remember what I said earlier? How I think you have special powers. The attendant looked at her curiously. Let's eat one just to test it out, Rayonette suggested. We'll see if I get nightmares or not. Why would you eat that? The attendant started, but Rayonette had already taken a bite. Moments passed, tense and silent. The attendant watched Rayonette closely, waiting for any sign of distress. That's a relief it doesn't seem like she's having nightmares, I hope this persists for the rest of the night. Rayonette felt a strange sensation wash over her, she looked down and saw a dagger in her hand, 
Is this a dagger? Why is it in my hand? Murderer, you killed them all. A voice echoed in her mind, you are cursed, a child born to destroy Huppet. The dreamscape twisted around her, Rayonet struggled to distinguish reality from the nightmare, a dream? She whispered to herself it doesn't look like he's having any bad dreams. Rayonet awoke with a start, could it be possible I dreamt Cillian's nightmares for him? She wondered aloud, that means Cillian's been having these terrible dreams the whole time pushing one to the edge and ensnaring them in anxiety the dark magic potion knows exactly how to torment its victim. She recalled a prophecy she had heard, the entity that will destroy Huppet, it toyed with my fear that I could actually be such an entity I refuse to believe it, but I can't help but wonder sometimes. Her thoughts were interrupted by the attendant's concerned Voik Rayonette, are you sure you're okay? Tell me the truth, you didn't sleep well, did you? Rayonette shook her head, then what is it? You keep dozing off, a cat meowed loudly, interrupting their conversation. Meow, meow, meow. It seemed to say. The attendant translated, Look, it's because of the sunlight. The weather is your excuse? Rayonette asked skeptically. The cat persisted, I'm telling the truth. Rayonette sighed, Though I am weirdly sleepy, I feel dizzy, and it's hard to breathe. Rayonette? The attendant's voice grew more anxious. Wait are you okay? I feel weak. Rayonette murmured suddenly a wave of energy left her body and she felt herself reverting to her human form, I'm human again? The realization hit her, wait, I don't have any clothes on. The attendant quickly turned around and handed her a robe, put this on for now I'll stay turned around. T thank you Rayonette stammered, grateful for the attendant's quick thinking and respect for her privacy, she wrapped the robe around herself, her mind racing with the implications of what had just transpired, the dark magic potion the dreams, her transformation everything was connected, and she needed to understand how if she was to protect Cillian and uncover the truth behind Countess Geisler's machinations. Um, you may turn around now what are you laughing at? What are you talking about? How annoying I need to check if I got any letters from Valondid, he predicted something like this would happen. No, but in case something does happen. We've installed a magic rune inside the top drawer for direct communication they just sent us one it, says Sanyu just used his power sit seems there oh indeed a connection between his, powers and your transformation Renette, do you, by any chance Renette, she's just asleep wait if she's asleep, why is she still a cat? Your Highness, we speculate that the use of power attributed to the sudden, onset of side effects sure. That's possible however it could also be because Rayonet is affected by the dark magic potion instead of me appreciate if, you look more into this, as it could have been caused by the dark magic potion your highness, I must warn that it's far too dangerous to do that right now why is that? I've been frequenting the palace late it may seem suspicious to his majesty if it's difficult for you to come to the palace then I'll go to you myself could it be because I dreamt too big? Anything near me that has life seems to leave me a highness? Where are you going this late at night? Greetings to your majesty. Are you on your way out? My goodness, it's so late yes I'm heading to Claude Town what's in those sacks, if I may ask? Oh, that's a baby fox that I hunted Catherine got so scared when it popped out in the Empress Garden I only screamed because I thought. It was a cat, your majesty. She's so easily startled anyhow what a relief it wasn't a cat, right? Wait, never mind. It could have been an opportunity for me to tear it apart with my bare hands. The sack looks rather large for a baby fox, your majesty what do you know? Disgusting human beings they locked my mother up in the corner of the palace and now they mock me like this was it a satisfying hunt? Calling it a hunt is silly it was worth a brief entertainment for the Nithen. I shall be the one to prepare you the brief entertainment next time you will. Yes, for your majesty I shall coordinate a hunt unlike any you've experienced before if you would allow mesh, I look forward to it. I do too look forward to it very much excuse me then, your majesty alright, let's go on and said I will not lose anything that is mine, any more anyone who challenges that I will kill them all so the prince he said he was heading to Claude Town so late at night he has quite a vulgar taste. 
a woman of lowly status remarkably beautiful a maid who's vanished into thin air if it's the prince who hid her so she can't be found everything makes sense your majesty, there's something I'd like to have poor thing doesn't realize when you hide something you cherish like that I okay then give me the hide of the baby fox it makes me want to find it and take it. Harad will bring Sanyuanellas to us soon please wait here for a moment your highness will you take Miss Rayonette back, if she wakes up? Why do you ask? We've been fortunate enough to bring her as a cat here thus far, but what will happen from now on is rather unpredictable if she were in human form while she was asleep, it would have been much more complicated to bring her here you must consider whether it is the right thing to keep her at the palace the current setup is dangerous both for your highness and for Miss Rayonette no Rayonette will continue to stay with me but, your highness, he's here I mean how should I know how to wake up a cat, have you tried shaking the cat, your highness, have you been up all night until this late, Awake Rayonette I wish they'd at least give me some instructions. All I can try is pour my power on she's still unable to wake up Harad yes, your highness can you try to read Rayonette's memories? Need to check something her memories? Well, then please excuse me for a moment what's going on did you see anything all died she killed all of them in the end she also killed me and how do you know this because it's the same plot of a dream, as the one I used to have every night. Up until I met Rayonette Rayonette is dreaming the nightmares in place for me did you have a nightmare? How did you know I had a nightmare? Well because you're still in it it's your fault you killed them you're the downfall everything's because of you pick up the dagger then all the pain will go away end it with your own hands then I will find comfort Rayonette it's time to wake up can you see me? Rayonette, what's wrong? I can't breathe is it hard to breathe? Is that what it is? Rayonette look this way it's okay. Your Highness is the lady doing all right? I think some sleep would benefit you, Your Highness Valon I have a plan what plan? I am going to bring Rayonette up forth, to the world is Rayonette still asleep? Oh, Your Highness yes she's been asleep the whole time you've been gone I finally remembered what I wanted to tell her, but what is it? Oh it's a story about the bleeding tree that's been passed down through our family was hoping that it could be a clue to breaking the curses that so I'll tell Rayonette about it when she wakes up I'll take care of her from now on, so you can get some rest yes, your highness I was worried no fever I was worried because your cheeks were red are you sure? don't push yourself too hard I'm really fine okay, if you say so oh, by the way, Iena wanted me to tell you something what is it? It's about a bleeding tree she said she doesn't remember the details and while you were asleep, we looked into the dark magic potion Sanua. What took you so long to wake up? Do you have any idea how hard it was for me this whole time? I practiced controlling my powers a whole lot see, you're in human form now you're awake, all thanks to me. Thank you, Sanua wait, how are you feeling, though? You got a dizzy spell the last time you used your powers that's not true what do you mean? I saw you that time shut up you're not in a position to worry about me son you get out it's a potion that manifests your deepest fears in the form of nightmares. If Countess Gisela made the potion herself wouldn't that mean she has magical powers? If that were the case, the Royal Bureau of Magic Regulations would have been keeping track of her isn't it possible that the Countess has formed an alliance with the Bureau of Magic Regulations? Countess Gisela doesn't have any magical power show do you know that? There was a time when Countess Gisela snuck into your bedroom, your highness she was hard set on digging up any negative information about you if she had powers, she would have detected the enchantment on my garments and searched for them however. She wasn't able to find anything if that's the case, she must have obtained the potion from someone else could it be Macmillan since he has good relations with the Countess? Rena Macmillan is merely a parasite of political power he doesn't have what it takes to do something so bold and, is there anyone else who would help Countess Geisler? In order to figure that out we'll need the guest list of the Royal Masquerade Ball since that is when Countess Geisler began to stand out so the secret helper would be on that list that's correct one can only attend the Royal Masquerade Ball through a direct invitation there must be someone who vouched for Countess Geisler to get on the list thing is, the Countess manages the list now which is because whoever coordinates the Masquerade Ball takes on the role of managing the list haven't the Hamiltons be taking care of that? 
Interestingly enough, the reason why Countess Geisler ended up taking over the role is because the Hamiltons disappeared overnight they disappeared, as Queen Elise's condition began to deteriorate the palace needed someone who could take over the role of hosting the royal masquerade ball the Hamilton, couple took on the role at first but the truth is the Hamiltons and their supporters were all involved in corruption and bribery when the Viscount Hamilton, couple went missing Countess Geisler took over the inner, workings of the royal palace her tyranny became increasingly blatant, and audacious I never knew that the corruption ran so deep in the palace Reynetto, your highness when did you get here? You didn't respond to the knocks looks like you were so deep in thought that you didn't even notice someone opening the door, are you here to scorn me for being careless? Of course not what were you thinking about? About what we were talking about earlier. It seems like it will be difficult to get a hold of the list from Countess Gisela moreover, I get a feeling whoever's helping her is even more sinister than she is, I don't know if we'll be able to find the Hamiltons, I wonder if they're even alive did you know? Wizards are able to track down anyone else who also uses magic you mean it will be relatively easy to find the Hamiltons? Probably, that's great he's too close. The truth is, ever since I've regained consciousness. The memories have been slowly coming back, f three quarters f one half, by the way. What brought you here in the first place? Before I leave I need to tell you something before. You leave? You will stay here for a while what? Me alone? Hearing that I'll be left behind is making me feel so anxious, is it because I became human? Since my form is no longer easy to hide? That's not why that is not a problem at all your form is not the issue it's because there's something you need to do here, for the next 15 days Valon will explain everything, so don't you worry I see I hope the 15 days fly by quickly. I didn't realize until now because we've always been together I have an unconditional trust for silly and you think 15 days will pass by quickly? It's about 2 weeks that's not too long don't you think? I see how it is it feels like such a long time to me the masquerade ball? I have to attend in human form? Sanya's power is not perfect, per se but you are able to remain human as long as he's awake it's time to stop hiding in the shadows even so, attending the masquerade ball seems to Duke Brian Hilda will help us out even though it is one of the very few dukedoms that exist in the empire they rarely set foot outside of their own estate the duke is married? But he hasn't had a child, so you will be introduced as their daughter what if someone grows suspicious of me? Raynette Brianhilda that is your name from now on you can do this your highness. She could fall off that's dangerous why don't you wave back? She's waving pretty hard no thanks but you won't be able to see her for a while it's fine for the lady waving her hands from the balcony 15 days is a short time, apparently. Once you find any clues about the Hamiltons. Report back to me immediately and as for the coachman driving this carriage oh, Harid has already taken care of the coachman's memories good job on that hopper tempi prohibits dark magic you've believed for a long time that all things related to dark magic, have been completely eradicated violon eyes, your highness if you were searching for information about dark magic that's undisclosed to the public where would, you go to find that information? In that case? I would I would check the Royal Archives Countess Geisler requested for permission to access the Royal Archives my further granted her the permission, of course according to Rayonet, Geisler doesn't possess any magical powers so in order to use dark magic, she must possess a magical object the Royal Archives the answer is at the Royal Archives where is the thing there are so many books to look through this ring creeps me out every time having human blood inside the gem and all Fabian Nellers who the hell is that anyway? I'll keep looking for it, okay, your grace? Is everything alright? I received a word that his majesty is looking for you that annoying old man your grace? My goodness his majesty can't bear to be separated even for a moment don't know what this book is all about but finding it won't be that hard once the whole palace falls into my hands, combing through a library will be a piece of cake good morning. We're having corn soup again? Oh oh ho, oh, of course it's your favorite, Rayonet you're so weird I didn't mean that I wanted to eat corn soup every single day just thought it was cool because it reminded me of corn chowder wonder if Cillian is eating well? 
I hope he hasn't had anything with dark magic potion again if only if only he replied to my letters, I wouldn't have to worry like this I've been waiting, but he hasn't sent one letter it's even more concerning because he said it's difficult to detect dark magic potion in the food. I hope he's not starving anyhow, I can feel it pretty clearly when the food is laced could it be that I have an extraordinary sense of smell? Why are you sniffing around? Do I smell bad? Wash yourself I showered yesterday I told you to shower every day you are so gross what? Such a love-hate relationship oh, well I should focus on my work, anyway the reason why I stayed back is to get my work done still I'm a bit disappointed that concludes today's lesson thank you for the lesson we'll be testing what you learned today tomorrow I'm giving you some homework as well Harrod I mean, Mr. Dyson, thank you for all you do with my father being away. I had to step up 3 quarters f 1 half, n tilde f 3 quarters f 1 quarter f micro n th 3 quarters think of it Count Valon took her off after breakfast to investigate the Hamilton's case right? I guess you'll be quite busy for a while I'd be lucky if there's an end to this, ever is there anything I can help with? Thanks for the offer, but my father entrusted me to do this or? Oh? But there's one thing what is it? If you see Sanua, bring that I mean, Bring him to me, please there he is playing Sanuaim on my break. I'm not skipping my lessons that's a Liam are the lessons pretty difficult? It's boring learning about weird texts and never about cool animals Sanua seems to like animals a lot it's about a bleeding tree I wonder if he knows anything about plants? She said she doesn't remember the details hey, Sanya do you know a lot about plants too? Plants? What do you want to know? Do you know anything about the bleeding tree, by any chance? I've never heard of it is it important? Um probably? Okay, then just ask again ask who? What do you mean, who? If you want to know about plants who else would you ask if not the animals that live in the wild? If you want to know about plants, who else would you ask, if not the animals that live in the wild? Oh my gosh! Sanua are you a genius? I'll keep it a secret you were skipping the lessons I wasn't skipping that's right Sanua can communicate with animals, now there's a better chance of finding clues about the curse this will make Cillian happy too, for sure, thank you so much, Sanua. W what the get off of me? Rain at your highness! Exclamation mark have you come to pick me up already? Oh, or maybe not. I'm just stopping by because someone expressed anger towards me in a letter are you saying I did? Exclamation mark you said if I don't reply, you won't tell me a funny story that's because I was worried I asked if you could let me know if you're in good health, at least right so, here I am specifically, at this hour is he serious? He came all the way back just because of my letter? Your Highness? What are you doing here at this hour? Wait, you. Were you here the whole time? Exclamation mark drats. How dare you skip my lectures. I I'm sorry. Shall we go to our room? If I'm not mistaken you seem to have a lot to scorn me over too you haven't been sleeping well, have you? Huh? I've been sleeping very well lies don't even try with me the dark circles and the bloodshot eyes are telling me the truth my gosh plus, you look so pale here have a warm cup of tea. I see you've learned to brew tea of course I've been training very hard. How has your stay here been? Totally awesome it's amazing here anything uncomfortable? Nope, nothing I don't want him to worry I'm still taking you back to the palace even though this place is comfortable for you of course I shall return where else would I go? Oops, wait a minute exclamation mark did he take it as that I want to continue living here? I am taking my lessons seriously so that I can return to the palace so how I yearn to go back soon thank goodness that ought to have cleared things up but wait why doesn't he look sleepy at all? I brought the tea specifically to help him sleep. Um, your highness don't you feel drowsy? Not at all no way. When I had this tea, it put me right to sleep. This gives me no other choice I didn't want to have to resort to this, what are you doing? I'm sorry so this is what it feels like when people say their hearts sank why are you doing this? Because I want you to have good quality sleep, so you body slam death one quarter f micro? At the very least, I must commend you for your determination ah uh, thanks for the compliment. Since I got you to lie down, 
I'll get going now what if I don't let you leave? Because I'm not going to sleep that's impossible. The tea you drank earlier promotes sleep. What? Wait the, the close your eyes no wonder you kept glancing at the cup earlier what if you get stuck in the nightmares like the last time? Hey so that's what you were worried about, huh? No one knows what will happen this time it's not like you can stay awake forever anyway. So, your highness just trust me and get some sleep Rayonette, she's not here where did she go? Rayonette my Rayonette the you are, Rain Sanu are you done with your class? Of course I told you I wasn't skipping you're giving it your all how respectably you're mocking me, aren't you? Rayonette looks so relaxed I've never seen that expression on her before I'm the one who's been with her from the start, but she doesn't act freely around me it, why is it that around that your highness how did you sleep? I'm glad that you got to sleep for a while yes, thanks to you could he still be tired? He seems to be in a bad mood for some reason your highness, perhaps your highness. Harid my father's returned found the tons. We brought them to this cabin in our forest for now please be cautious as they seem to be mentally agitated will do let go of me hold them down. You bastards, do you realize who I am? How dare you lowly why peasants lay hands on me? Those are the Hamiltons. They used to manage the royal household and wield a great deal of power but now they're reduced to sugar pitiful state what did Countess Geisler do to these people? Rayonette, what's wrong? Those pee please they reek of the odor of dark magic potion once I return to the palace, I shall make sure to execute you lowly fools your highness? I've made a grave mistake, your highness. Please spare me you think I found you to punish you? Please have mercy I will never accept any bribes again Valon, how did you find them? I was tracking down their last traces with magic, and then I discovered a suspicious wall in the basement of their manor broke down the wall and found the Hamiltons locked up in their underground storehouse is it possible they were hiding to evade embezzlement charges? Ryan with my own hands her kill given the significant amount of dark magic potion detected in the stored food. It's less likely that they hid themselves, but rather, the Countess imprisoned them. You see if that's the case, Catherine! Exclamation mark she spang out. Calm her down. Your Grace, it's gonna hit me, Catherine. This is all because of you, it's all Catherine's fault. She's the reason why we were locked up. She mistook me for Countess Geisler. Something serious must have happened between them to provoke such intense hatred. Even in an altered state of mind he can't stand this any longer confess before my patience wears thin tell me anything you've witnessed or been involved in, and about the crimes committed by Catherine Halm and Geisler Catherine that evil there was something fishy about her right from the beginning for instance she popped out of nowhere as a commoner came into the palace and rose to power. The power and influence supporting Countess Geisler must have a connection to the royal masquerade where she began to stand out Witten was the one that gave her the invitation. The thing is I swear I want to tell you everything but I know close to nothing about who wrote the letter all I saw was Catherine handing it to me she showed up alone without any escort what did the letter say exactly? It requested for Catherine to be able to attend the ball it also asked to denote Minister Clev McLean as the companion Minister McLean. I don't remember seeing anyone with that name in the original novel I read I'm one being paranoid. Something feels off the strange thing is once the word caught around that his majesty is fond of Catherine Minister McLean came up to me and asked who she was unlike what it said in the letter, he didn't seem to know her at all when I saw them together later, the minister seemed to be groveling to Catherine I see how did you end up getting locked up in this basement, as Catherine gained his majesty's favor and trust. Our position naturally became precarious it was at that point that Catherine suggested that we take a year-long vacation abroad she said if she succeeds in taking over the royal household in the meantime, she will reward us when we return it was practically a threat more so than it was a suggestion we couldn't come up with a good enough excuse to decline her offer, so we were getting ready to leave them we had a visitor we lost our consciousness and we found ourselves in this basement the next time we opened our eyes we wanted to die, but we couldn't whenever we would regain consciousness, we were eating the food in here it was as if we were possessed by something your goodness thank you for saving us from that hell let them stay here for a while yes, 
Your Highness Clever McLean I'll investigate him the you go you will be the most beautiful girl at this masquerade ball I know his highness will be there to protect you but still be careful. Rayonette. Yes, of course then, wish me luck. The palace is in sight already to think I'm actually going to the palace in my human form so, you're saying I have to get noticed by his majesty at the ball? Yes that is your mission how can you just drop that on me and leave like I said? I was just stopping by I have to go back to the palace and prepare for something do you think I can do it? I might turn into a cat again, and I'm not a real noble don't worry you'll do great okay, then how are you going to sniff out the dark magic potion without me? Valon told me for dark magic potion, only the one who crafted that specific vial can make the antidote if you end up ingesting more of the potion while I'm not around Rayonet I'll be fine your safety is the most important thing to me it's not fine Cillian doesn't know how to detect the dark magic potion I want to find the antidote for him antidote that only the crafter of the dark magic potion can make I may be able to find something in Countess Geisler's room since I can get inside the palace now. How am I going to find Cillian amidst this huge crowd? I want to talk to him about the antidote there's Lino Macmillan even though he's the chief of staff, he caters to Countess Geisler for a coward, that lame mask suits him well. Wait, now is not the time for this I'll go upstairs to look for Cillian I should have asked him what kind of mask he was planning on wearing my lady, are you looking for someone? This is Cillian's voice. Who are who, you ask? Someone who can't fall asleep without you does that ring a bell? Your silly how did you recognize me right away? Well I could just tell are you sure you didn't peep my mask in advance? Why would I do something like that? Your mask is a duck mask, right? It's an angel mask. That girl from before with silver hair I see she's crawled back in on her own.